Did you play football growing up? You look like a dude that played football, just saying. Well, thank you very much, Kelly. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that, but no, I did not. I, oh. I, um, I, hit, a, I hit a really late growth spurt late in, later on in, in high school, maybe even into college. And so when I was going into high school, uh, I played football one year in junior high, and I wanted to play football in high school. And my dad, I was really, really skinny. And uh, my dad said, absolutely not. You're not playing football. They'll kill you. You'll be broken in half. Look at these guys. They're <laughs> twice your size. And so he was right. And, and it broke my heart for, you know, five minutes. And then I just decided I, I needed to do something. I wasn't going to sit at home uh, and do nothing. So I, I, for the first time in my life, picked up a soccer ball. I had a, um, it's interesting. We had a, we had a soccer uh, um, a, a field literally right across the street. Uh, from our house. And so I went over there and I, I taught myself how to play soccer in one summer poorly. I made the team barely. Um, uh, but but that's that's uh, that's my soccer story. Oh, I love soccer. I played soccer as well. That's yeah. a fun sport. Now it sounds like fat camp because you just have to run a lot because soccer just is running all over the place. Yeah, definitely yeah. a cardio sport. <laughs> so um, I loved it as a kid, though. Um, but have you ever coached your daughter in any sports? Yeah, you know, I did, um, and I don't know why. Here we go about soccer again. You know, I coached her when she was like six, maybe six years old, five or six years old in a, in a, in a, a soccer uh, league. And, um, you know, when they're that age, what they're doing is they're just, they're just running after the ball. Wherever the ball goes, that's where they're running. There's always like one kid, maybe two kids on the team that are really good and skilled and know what they're doing even at that young age. My daughter was not one of them. <laughs> um, but she had good team spirit and, and you know, they didn't keep score, not, nothing like that. They're five years old. These kids are just running around trying to have fun. And there's always this one, um, at least one parent that just thinks, you know, <laughs> they think that they're like, that their kid is, you know, yeah. uh, messy or something, or like, you know, Brett Favre and they're, you know, going for the, for the, the, the touchdown in the Super Bowl or something. It's like unbelievable. This guy would like jump down my throat. And I, he would run up and down and, and ask questions, why this and why that? And I would just look at him. I go, dude, you know, we're not even keeping score here. But put, put, put whatever score you want in your brain, put it in your brain. That's what the score is. They're winning. <laughs> sure, they're winning. Whatever. We don't keep it score. But, uh, but he, was, he was into it. And I thought to myself, that poor kid, when he goes home, I, bet, I mean, his life is probably miserable. It's probably the greatest moment of his life to come, you know, play soccer and not have to worry about about his uh, his his uh, overbearing father. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's, it reminds me of that movie, uh, Kick, it was it Kicking and Screaming? The Will Ferrell movie. Oh my God, I loved that movie. It's, that's I, like him. It sounds yeah, like it's awesome. Sports. Well, I grew up playing sports. There were definitely those parents, and I was like, no one's going to the Olympics here, just so you're aware. Um, exactly. Let's have yeah, some fun. It was fun. They suck all the fun out of it.